Hey everyone, it's Dirk. Welcome to Build Interactive Social Networking Apps. This is a sample chapter from the course. For more information and sample chapters, please visit me at developerinspirus.io slash social. Hey everyone, it's Dirk. Welcome to section two, in which we're going to make a full-blowing prototype out of our amazing design in section one. You have been working really hard learning in the course and trying all the challenges. I hope that you have been enjoying doing so. So in this video, I would like to introduce you to Flinto. It is a wonderful app service that allows us to make a prototype for our app out of all the designed static screens and then we can run the prototype on our phone. So let's find out all the things in Flinto. And here is my phone that I will use to Pro, uh, run the prototype in and so as you can see uh, from that and it is live on my phone and this is a very wonderful way that later on when you have an app and you want to have make a movie for your screenshots and you don't want to spend $100 or so for screen flow you can just use QuickTime player in your Mac built in in your Mac and then choose an option to make a new movie recording and then connect your iPhone into the Mac via the USB and make the movies, okay? So let's go to Safari and then I will go to Flinto, F-L-I-N-T-O.com and here is my Flinto um, service and now, for now, I will log out of my account and create a totally new account. So I will type in my address And then I will choose an uh, I will choose a password. All right. So here, go, then you will have a quick uh, tips about how to use Flinto. So right now we will just uh, escape that. But you see that right now you have a very option to make a prototype immediately, and I can turn on the screen like this. So over the left corner, you can see that the prototype right now is named Untitled. So we can go to the settings and then change the title for this. Maybe this one is Interest Prototype MK1. Okay. And then save changes. And you see that we have two other options. The first one is the app icon. The second one is the startup image. So for the app icon, we will learn how to design the app icon later on in the future videos. And also for the startup image. So we have other options like the status bar style. So right now, maybe I will choose the white translucent. The default, default, default device frame style, we can choose black, white, gold, or we can have other options like when we tap on something, it will show hints for the missed tabs or it will highlight some of the tabs like some buttons or some images. And we also have actions, delete the pro prototypes or we can duplicate the prototype. So I will save the changes. All right. So here is the canvas or the this is canvas that all of your static screens that we design in section one will go into this canvas. All we need to do is just drag and drop all of those screen here and we will make a prototype in Flinto. All right, hey everyone, it's Dirk. In this video, let's make a prototype out of all of these images. So here is on the left hand side is my Flinto prototype. Right now it doesn't have any screens yet, but it says drop on the screens right here. It doesn't mean that I have to drop anything into my screen, but so on the right hand side, we have all the images that we just export in the last video, in the last video. So I will cut, I will select all of these by uh, clicking command A, and then I will drag all of these images right here, and then drop those, all right? And then it will take some time to upload those, and boom. So we have all of these screen. So let's find out and a little bit organize those screens. So the first one, we, I wanted the email prompt to, to be the first one, all right? And then I want 
the let's find the password try it to the top also and if you want we can zoom in zoom out like this very convenient and we have the name okay what's next so we want to have the home screen let's say after the home screen we want to have something like the interest page and then we want to have the comments page okay it should be this one i don't like that one and then the, maybe the discover page or we can create a new one that is how we can create a new one right the first the second and then we can compose a new post or we go, can write a comment all right so i will zoom in into those pages and start working on those so the way you make product in flinto is incredibly easy all you need to do is select this one select a screen that you want to currently working on and then you will drag uh, like that and then you have a button this is kind of like a button okay and then you from this button if the user clicks on that then we want to transition to this button to this screen right so in this back button it doesn't matter but in this next button so make it a little bit bigger so that we can click anywhere we want and then we go transition to this password screen boom okay and what if you want to a custom transition something like you slide right slide left push right push left or slide up slide down okay or flipped and left right we have some of these options in flint out by default it will be none or kind of like dissolve but it's just like appear immediately into your screen we can choose dissolve but right now because our email and password screen it has back and next and in fact we will put it into a ui navigation controller so i want it to be something like push left okay so you see that the push left is highlighted i just clicked into the next button and click push left okay so we click next we are in the password screen and maybe we want to come back into the email screen so we want it to be push right okay and then select the back and want to push right okay and then we have two screens right so we can just click into preview right now and preview what's going on with our app so far all right so here is the email screen and i want to click next or we can go back okay very easy right there we go so next let's have this next button and i want to go here let's change this one into push left right because it is pushing left and also for this we want to push right all right and after we do all of these we click next then we will go back to we will go to our home screen and maybe for this one let's do it as cross dissolve so this is dissolve okay all right so we are at our home screen what next we want to click into the discover button to join some of some of the room right let's say and let's make it bigger and go here so for this one the discover button the discover screen i want it a little bit like it's on the left hand side so i want it to be push right all right but in fact in our real app we will do something like it will push it just minimize it and then it will slide to the left slide to the right and then pop it back so we have really wonderful view controller transition anima uh, animator for you waiting for you to learn about how to do that okay so now we are on the discover screen let's take care of this discover screen okay so we want to cancel that and come back to our home screen so let's come back to our home screen okay or if we are in one of those card views we can click into this card views all right and then come back to our interest home page and we want that to be push left 
or push right I think it should be push left okay but fi let's find out how I will clean to preview next 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 and this cover is push left that's right cling to that then we can push right that's good so right now we want to uncheck this one click close so let's make a big one like that and we want to close in back into the home screen okay and let's do that by dissolve or actually let's pu push left or push right okay all right so how about this one we want to create that one and go back here and we still can as it exit this one right so we have some other screens right down below here why don't you try out yourself and this is as a challenge for you so just try out connect some of the screens remember that if you are working on a screen right now transition to another screen take care of all the things that you can come back and that's it so i hope that you have been enjoying this tutorial try out the challenge and if you have any questions feel free to post it right down below and i will be glad to answer all of your questions all right hey everyone welcome back in this video i'm going to show you how you can run this prototype in your screen so here is my prototype so far and we can just connect to Dropbox or we can add screen or we can share so I will share and then here is some options we can do this we can send to your phones and your email and this is the history maybe you want to set the password so this is very um, easy for us to do that so I will type in my phone number all right hey so this is here what would happen when I click into the link that Flinto sent me so I am in Safari right now and it has an arrow right here and it says just click into that and then we can add this to home screen okay so I can add this on to home screen let's add that to home screen and then we can rename this maybe we name it as interest oops interest okay something like that and add so we are in our home screen right now so I will click into that see so later on in your challenge maybe you want to like um, have we after we design the startup screen and the app icon your challenge will be change the app icon in Flinto change the startup screen in Flinto so that you will have a wonderful experience when you run this app okay so this is our email and then when I click into something that is not a button Flinto very nicely will show me what is where I should click on so I click next and it slide to the left click back it goes back next and next next okay so I can click into a room slide up right very nice and then I can click that or go back create a new post okay type something and then close that close this all right so I will I will use, give you some time to uh, play around with this prototypes share it with your friends share it with your families thank you for watching this sample chapter from BU interactive social networking apps I hope that it is of great help to you this is a course I designed to help developers learn to design and make prototypes start developing beautiful apps with great care for design in mind help designers to start making their own apps. One important part of this course is the foundation for you to connect your app to the world by using Pause as a backend service. For more information and sample chapters from the course, visit me at developerinspirus.io slash social. Till next time, go out there, learn new things, craft your ideas, and contribute to the world.